I cast out demons, that's my mission. We must remember that we all have a placebo and we all have the nocebo. Remember that the placebo is the way that we create some kind of quantifiable change in connection to how my mind is wired to think about that change as manifest. Now we also must remember that our bodies can also connect to the nocebo. What is that? The nocebo is my body can now connect to things that are nefarious, to things that somehow might be in some kind of negative effect upon my body. So when you find a practitioner who is going to tell you, I cast out demons, that is a very, very real thing for me. Well, that is very, very real because you believe that to be real. It is also very real because the more you put some kind of energy into it, other individuals who also believe that they have some kind of attachment or some kind of possession are also going to put some kind of belief system into that. So if you are going to say to somebody that you, sir, are possessed by a demon and you, ma'am, are possessed by a demon and I cast demons out, that is a money grab. That is all about you trying to use your fear-based system to try to get money off of individuals because you believe that they must be helped because somehow that person is in need of assistance and you have now scared the living hell out of them. So that way they believe that they need you. That is not how healing works. Why do I say that? When you are leaning in to a polarity of some kind of emotion, what does that mean? It means high and low in polar opposites. When we are focusing on low dimensional frequency and energy, it is very likely that that energy may come back. It is very likely that this energy here that is not up here, this energy down here might come back because it's heavy, because it's dense. So it takes development and it takes skill, skill to be able to transmute this energy to take it back to this place. But we never stop with this kind of energy because if a client comes in and says, I have a possession, we must work with the content of their mind first. They might be sick. They might be in need of other kind of assistance. But if we only go here first, talking about some kind of demon, we are not actually assisting in their recreation of new synaptic responses. If you want to believe that I myself am demonized, then that does not bother me because I know what is truth and I know what is not truth. And if you think that somehow I am deceiving other individuals, then that is your version of truth. I can say that I have had a quantifiable, measurable, evidential change with thousands and thousands of individuals, not some kind of garage healer. Just say it.